Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a makeup look using the products that I already own that are packaged in black. So I managed to rummage through my makeup collection and pick out these products right here. I don't have a specific look in mind. I kind of just wanted to wing it. And also with our situation today, everyone's staying at home so while I'm at home I might as well make the most of it and be creative and for me makeup is the one thing that distracts me from whatever is happening in the world so yeah without further ado let's hop right into the video I don't have any specific look in mind to be honest so we're just gonna figure it out before we move on to the eyeshadow I'm going to prime my eyes with the fit me concealer from Maybelline it's such a good concealer because it's quite hydrating and it does the job at concealing as well. It just glided on smoothly without any problems. So for eyeshadow palette, I have two options. I have the MAC eyeshadow palette and this one is from their library collection and this is called It's Designer. This is the colorful one. I really kind of wanted to play with colors. May have to incorporate a little bit of the fun colors uh, which is in this palette. And the main eyeshadow palette that I really wanted to use is this one right here from Tati Beauty. This is the Volume 1 Textured Neutrals eyeshadow palette. I've only used this twice since I purchased the eyeshadow palette but oh my god it's such a beautiful everything eyeshadow palette like you pretty much have everything that you could ever ask for so I am going to quickly set my lids with this shade called Aura which is the matte shade and I always have to set my lids it doesn't matter if I prime or not because I have such a oily lids I want this eye makeup look to be a little bit dramatic so I might have to incorporate a little bit of the glitter shades from this palette so for transition shade I'm going to start off with Soothe which is this one right here and that's the matte finish And I'm really going to buff that all over the lid. If you're not into makeup and you just want to purchase an eyeshadow palette, this Tati Textured Neutrals eyeshadow palette will probably be your best friend. The only downside is that it's quite hard to get your hands on unless you live in US. But luckily for me, I purchased this off trade me which is like a New Zealand version of eBay and it was still in good condition it was pretty much brand new so now I am going to pick up the shade ritual which is this darker brown again we're still on the matte finish so I'm going to try and put that on the outer V and slowly blending that into the inner corner in a part of the eye I mean and I think I might do a halo eye so I'm going to pop some of that on the inner part of the eye as well and kind of blend the shades oh my god the wind it keeps opening our bedroom door which is so annoying with the same brush, I am going to go and use a little bit of Poet, which is this plummy shade right here. And I'm kind of going to go over that brown. Just to introduce a little bit of warmth. Again, I'm not going to put too much because I still want it to look a little bit cool toned. Then I'm going to go back to Soothe, which is that matte transition shade, just to blend the outer part of the eye. And then I'm going to go back to Ritual once again with the same brush. I kind of just left the 
And then I'm going to go back to palette just to make sure that we have everything. So see how there's a little bit of gap in between. So what I'm going to do is to go to the Art Library palette from MAC. And I think I'm going to go and take this shade right here. And that one has got a little bit of shift to it. Like it's plummy, but it has that taupey undertone. So I think I am going to just pack it on with my finger. Wow, that's so pretty. And I'm going to go back to Tati Beauty and then I am going to try and blend it all together. So I'm going to mix Ritual and Poet, which is that dark brown and that plummy shade. And then I can't help, but I just have to add a little bit of glitter. So I'm going to take... Um, this aura glitter right here, which is pink, but it has a, a lot of reflex to it. I can't quite describe it, so I'm just gonna pat it with my finger and slowly pop that on the lid, concentrating that on the middle part. So I'm just going to quickly apply some false lashes off camera, I know, but this type of look calls for false lashes and since we're playing with makeup, we could always get rid of it. Here is my makeup look with lashes on. The lashes that I use is called Viso Free and this is the Wispy Lashes. I got this from AliExpress like a couple of years ago and I can't believe that... I'm wearing false lashes. I'm kind of not used to wearing one because it has been a while but honestly like this look calls for it and it looks pretty good. So I, I have not done a perfect job in applying false lashes. Just don't mind me but yeah it's quite fun. It kind of looks like um, lash extensions from afar. So for foundation today I am going to use the nurse radiant long wear foundation and i actually am going to mix this with the primer which is the elf moisture lock primer because the shade is a little bit too dark for me and this foundation is very very thick like you really need a teeny tiny bit because it's very full coverage and it can be mattifying as well that's why i like to really moisturize my skin first before applying this foundation and yes i'm not wearing primer i kind of just mix it in with the foundation because i don't know i prefer it a lot better than applying the two separately i use about a pump and a half and as you can see i still have a lot of product left on my hand so i'm just gonna use it sparingly i don't want like a extremely full coverage i just want to focus this on the areas that i really want to cover the reason why i have not used the foundation is because it i find it a little bit too thick for my liking and the formula is very very heavy on my skin that I get milieus if I wear it throughout the day. I could wear this foundation for probably five hours, but if I were to leave it on for eight hours, my pores get so clogged. So here is what my face is currently looking like. As you can see, it's still a little bit dark on my skin, but we are going to work our way around it. For concealer, I have two today. I have the MAC Studio Fix Concealer Stick, and this one is in the shade NC35, and I have the Fit Me Concealer that we use to prime our eyes. So I'm going to brighten my face using this concealer even though it doesn't really show up that bright on my skin but i love this concealer because it's easy on no makeup makeup days i could get away with just using that and i'm going to pop a little bit of that fit me just to blend it nicely That Fit Me concealer is honestly one of the best drugstore's concealer that I've tried. It's so blendable and it just gives the 
most natural finish on the skin. So I'm going to put a little bit on here. Just to lighten the foundation a little bit. And to set my face, I have the NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder. And this is in crystal. They have a press version of this powder, but I personally like the loose version. I find that the press version can get a little bit heavy. So I'm going to use my sponge to slowly set my under eye. Baking with this powder is going to be a disaster because it will give you the most horrible white cast. So I suggest just use a teeny tiny bit and then just set your whole face. And as you can see, it did give me a very flawless finish. It blurred my pores in an instant. It goes well with the foundation. Like it's not drying, it's not very mattifying. It still gives a little bit of luminosity to the skin. I am going to then bronze my skin. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer and this one is in the shade Saddle. I like to just swirl my brush and get probably quite a lot of product and then slowly sweep it all over my face. This bronzer has the most amazing neutral undertone which works great, especially if I have a little bit of a darker foundation. It won't make my face look darker than what it is and it's also it won't make me look orange. It just adds like a perfect amount of warmth to my skin. If you overdo your bronzer on your nose, just grab the beauty sponge that you use to set your face and kind of just go over the areas where you want to erase or correct. Gives me a really nice bronze glow. I've owned this for quite a while, but I have not really got around to using it. This is the NARS Lush in Dolce Vita. As you can see, it's so pretty, but you have to be really careful about this blush because it's very pigmented. Like for me, one tap is enough and it gives the most beautiful flush of color onto the skin. You just have to be careful on how much you apply because it can get clowny at times. For highlighter today, oh my gosh, I have not used this for a very long time. This is the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish and this one is in the shade Oh Darling. It's such a pretty highlighter. I've dented it a little bit but not a lot. So I'm going to use my bronzer brush, just the tip of it and kind of just highlight the high points of my face. This can get a little bit glittery, so I like to kind of just use a powder brush to apply it. For lips today, I have three lipstick options. Now they're all from MAC because MAC does the majority of black packaging on their lipsticks. I think recently they have updated their collection and they started to introduce more of their white packaging. But personally for me, I like the packaging. So I have Whirl, Brave or Half and Half. I think I am going to go with Brave for this one because it still has that plummy vibe to it and I feel like Brave will pull everything off because it's cool tone, but at the same time, it has a little bit of warmth to it. And this is a satin finish, which is my favorite finish of lipstick from MAC. Only downside is it doesn't last as long. So for the lower lash line, I am just going to quickly use one shade which I normally do when I do eye makeup look. I find that lower lash line, I don't really like to complicate it that much because everything that I've put effort on is already on the top eye. So to balance it out so that my eyes won't close, I like to just put one color. So I'm going to use mixture of Sooth and Poet, which is that plum shade that we have.
So, and then I'm going to add a little bit of ritual, which is that dark brown, just on the outer areas of my eyes. For the inner corner highlight, I am going to try and make it colorful and fun. So I'm going to go back to the MAC Art Library eyeshadow palette, and I want to pick up this gold shade right here. It has a little bit of green tinge to it. To set my face, I have the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I'm almost out of this. I probably have like one spritz left, but I'm just gonna use whatever I have, and then this is gonna go to the rubbish. And then I like to pat the setting spray with my sponge just to help it marry the products all together and to avoid cakiness. Here is my final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is just me trying to play with makeup, just trying to make use of the time we have while we stay at home. And I hope you do the same, find something creative so you don't get bored. There's always something that you can do. Stay safe and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates and I will catch you on the next one. Bye!